We're different, you and I. I'm different to you. We used to be the same, but then something changed. Now I'm brand new. My view's not the same. I can see that it's not all about me, as you thought it to be. Mine's a bit part in a giant story, but this is no fairy tale, no feeble fable. Not make-believe, but taste and see and feasting at the royal table. Long after my clock's counted down, and this body stopped and it's in the ground, the trumpet will sound and the credits will roll, and all credit will go to the writer who designed the set, and he will be met with rapturous applause and never-ending curtain calls. My name will not appear in lights painted on the skies, because I am not the hero of my life. My goal is not to take the hero's place, but to play my part well a voice in the chorus that sings his praise. Now that I'm not centre stage, life's so much better, and though I still entertain illusions of grandeur, I now understand that they're founded on seductive pride, destructive lies that are easy to believe, only because they feed our felt need for significance. Aggressive defence is what we need, from a position of truth, relentless pursuit of the sun who's pure and good, will counter attacks from the one who tracks us, the father of lies, the liar, the prince of pride, the lion who prowls around, seeking to take down the weak and defenceless. Our defence lies in the sun who protects us from the lion who bathes our blood. Well, here's the good news. Blood's already been spilt, a payment for guilt. And though my blood is called for, and the death penalty's rightfully mine, I get to be washed clean by his blood, and raised with the sun to new life. Now the winter of my discontent is gone, for his punishment ended my banishment, and though I was his enemy, he called me into his family. So that's how I was changed, made brand new by the great exchange. The old you went, and the new me came, yet somehow we're still one and the same. <laughs>